So I want to walk you through some of the directions for using your iPad to work on color wheels. So this is a little bit different than the basic color wheel, but the directions are still going to be the same. You are going to start by importing your color wheel as a JPEG into Photoshop or Fresco. I recommend Photoshop because it will be easier to select. Um, in my opinion, the selection tools are better, but you can try with Fresco. This is also just one method. Um, based on my experience, it would be the easiest. So take a look at what I'm doing right here, changing my image to multiply mode. Okay, that's the image on the top. I used that little slider there and changed it to multiply mode. Now I am going with a new layer. This is what you do for every shape, creating a new layer, moving it under that top layer, which is now essentially line art because multi, multiply mode um, for the layer mode makes all the white invisible. Using the quick select tool, which is selected on the left right now, well, not anymore. It was selected on the left to select whatever shape I wanna fill, then choosing it from the color picker and then using the paint bucket to add it. So now we're gonna go through that process again. Seeing right now, the blue layer on top is active. Get my quick selection tool, select the shape, make a new layer, bring it under the color wheel layer. Now go select my color by sliding it. You wanna make sure you're using pure hue, no tints or shades. Get the paint bucket, go on to the new layer, fill it. That's it. It's going to be important that you try to make an accurate selection without going crazy. So this kind of thing does not matter. Okay, a little teeny bit of edge we can live with. Okay, so the important part there is that you are making a little effort in selection selections to make a good fill. If you would prefer painting um, on a layer beneath the um, color wheel image, that's fine. What you cannot do is paint on your color wheel sheet, so to speak, because we wanna make sure that you're never painting on a photograph, which we're gonna call that a photograph. If you would like to hand paint without using selection, feel free, okay? I would recommend making a layer for each color like I did here, okay? So if you were doing your own just basic color wheel for the first assignment, you would be working with just these six colors. If you're going into the second color wheel, then this entire thing has to be done. I just wanted to show you the method, okay?